What is Bitcoin? A few years ago, some person called Satoshi Nakamoto created a computer program. Let's just call it a website for now. So he makes this website where anyone can sign up. And every 10 minutes, this website randomly gives one point to someone's account. Also, all users are able to send their points to one another. First, me and my friend sign up. My friend gets the point. However, I want the point, so I offer him my hat for it. My friend says, OK, and he sends the point to my account. Then some other friends hear about it, and they sign up too. They think it sounds cool. Now, there are a dozen people signed up for this site, all trying to get these points. After 10 minutes, it randomly gives another point to one of my other friends. I offer him a hat for it, but someone else offers him a PS3 game. He takes the PS3 game and sends the point to their account. People realize that the value of these points are clearly increasing. More people sign up because they see that it is free and that people will give you stuff for your points. Everyone decides to rename points to Bitcoin. But wait, there's a problem. What if the website server gets shut down? Everyone will lose their Bitcoins. The solution? The creator, Satoshi Nakamoto, decides to make the program open source. Anyone can download and run this Bitcoin program on their own computer. So now it's not only on just one server anymore, but the Bitcoin program is now running on many people's computers all over the world. So if one computer shuts down, the Bitcoin program is still running fine. But wait. Can't anyone just change the program to say they have 1,000 bitcoins? Nope. Everybody's bitcoin program is constantly monitoring and checking all accounts. If someone tries to change their balance, the other computers will say, Heh, nice try. All transactions between users are verified by these computers. Now, Bitcoin is spreading. Thousands of people start using it. People love it because no government or company is controlling it. It is controlled entirely by the people. Not even the inventor can stop it now. Also, since Bitcoin is transferred directly from user to user without any middleman, fees are incredibly low. Transactions are instant. No more waiting three days for funds to clear. Your account can't be frozen by anyone. There are no banks or companies with access to your money. You control your funds, no one else. What makes this even better? Anyone can make a Bitcoin account wallet for free. You don't need to give any personal information. You don't need to give your email. There is no age limit. It's just like a numbered bank account, completely anonymous. So how do I get a Bitcoin wallet? The easiest way is to go to buckysroom.org. Every account comes with a built-in, easy-to-use Bitcoin wallet. And how do I get Bitcoin? Well, there are several ways. You can sell things and get paid in Bitcoin at https colon forward slash forward slash Bucky's room dot org slash shop slash. You can buy Bitcoins from people in person at localbitcoins.com. You can also buy Bitcoin from companies like Coinbase.com, but you need to give them personal information. Bitcoin is quickly becoming very popular with people using it every single day. It is more than just a digital currency. Bitcoin is a technological innovation that is changing the world.